Okay, today we do question 14b, uh, differentiation equations. So given dy dt is equals to y and 1 minus y. So if we integrate in these questions, so we need to separate y and the t, and then we're going to integrate in 1 over y times 1 over y like equal to dt. But integrating this part is a little bit harder. Uh, we need some algebra technique to do some partial fractions. Then we were able to integrate. It. But with the substitution given y equals to 1 over 1 minus w, then we can easily change in the original differentiation equation into the new differentiation equation as dw dt will become just equal to negative w. The integration will become so much easier. So that's the first question they asked us to show that. So how are we going to solve these equations here? So we're going to use in the differentiation chain rule. So dw dt suppose equals to dw dy times dy dt. And the dy dt is already ready because we have that dy dt. So we can substitute in here. But now we only need to find what's dw dy. So what is dw dy? So we have y is equals to that. So we can do dy dw first. So dy dw will be equals to negative 1 minus w to the power of negative 2 times negative 1. Chain rule again, which gives us 1 over 1 minus w or squared. But that's dy dw. Then from there we do reciprocal, so we get d w dy, which gives us 1 minus w all squared. So this is the part is ready. We can sub this one, dw dy, into here. So both is ready to substitute. So I'm going to substitute into d w dt. So now it's become equals to 1 minus w or square times dy dt, which is y, but the y equals to 1 over 1 minus w, then times 1 minus 1 over 1 minus w. So that gives us 1 minus w or square times 1 over 1 minus w times 1 minus w and the 1 minus w minus 1 and then gives us negative w since we can cancel this and these two so we prove the first part so the second part we're going to using the new differential equation dw dt equals negative w and finding w in terms of t so we go into integration this. So we separate the w and the t this time. So we have dw over negative w will be equal to dt. So from here, we integrate in both sides. I'm going to leave the negative outside, and I have 1 over w dw will be equal to dt. And then this side gives me negative log absolute value w plus c equals to t. And with initial condition, they give us when t equals to 0, y is equals to 1 quarter. And I'm going to use the substitution here, put 1 quarter into the y, and I can find the w is equals to negative 3. So from there, I substitute in here. So negative log absolute value negative 3 plus c equal to 0. So 
So therefore, C is equals to log negative root of so value 3, which is same as log 3. So that's your C. So from here, then we can put it back into the equation, which gives you negative log absolute value w plus log 3 equal to t. So, and I put these two together with log 3 over absolute value w will be equal to t. And I'm going to remove the absolute values. So, you know, initially when t equal to 0, w equal to negative 3, right? So we know that w is a negative value. So absolute value of w is supposed to be equals to negative w, since w is less than 0. So from there, we can say log 3 over negative w equals to t. So e to the power of t will be equal to 3 over negative w. So therefore, w will be equals to negative 3 e negative t. Right, so this is the um, w in terms of t. So I'm going to substitute y back. So y is equals to 1 over 1 minus w, which equals to negative 3 e negative t, become plus 3 e negative t. Right, so this is the final solution we have. So we're going to use in this equation now to find in the time when the y is equals to 3 quarters. So let's continue. So now the last question is question 3. Find the t if y is equal to 3 quarters. So now we can sub in 3 quarter into the y and it equals to 1 over 1 plus 3 e to the power of negative t. So from here we just simplify the equations with 3 plus 9 e to the power of negative t equals 4. So therefore 9 e negative t equals to 1 e negative t equals to 1 over 9, then e t will be equal to 9. Therefore, t is equals to log 9. So that's the final answer. Finish. If you found this video useful, subscribe and leave a like. And let me know what other things you'd like to watch me explain.